Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we'll demonstrate returning ref curses from PLSQL using functions, procedures, and implicit statement results. Ref curses have been available since Oracle 7.3. Unlike regular cursors, you can pass ref curses as parameters. I'll be using standalone procedures and functions for the demos, but in real code, you should be using package procedures and functions. We create a new user called test user one and grant it the create session, create table, and create procedure privileges. We connect to the new user and create the emp table. We populate it with the usual data, and now we're ready to start using ref cursors. We create a function called RC function. It accepts the employee number as an input parameter. The return type is defined as sys ref cursor. This is a predefined ref cursor data type that was introduced in Oracle 9i. It just saves us from having to define our own loosely typed ref cursor type. We define a cursor variable of type sys ref cursor. We open a cursor using this cursor variable. Finally, we return it. We'll use a feature of SQLCL and SQL Plus to display the ref cursor. We define a variable of type ref cursor. We assign the value returned by the function call to this variable. We can then print out the contents of the variable. As expected, we see a single row returned with two column values. We can do something similar from a stored procedure. This time we have an out parameter of type sysref cursor. All we do is open a cursor using the out parameter. Once again, we define a variable of type ref cursor. We call the procedure passing the variable as a second parameter. We print out the contents of the variable and we see the result we expect. SQL Server developers will often use a select statement to pass out variable values rather than defining formal out parameters. Implicit statement results were introduced in Oracle 12c to allow PLSQL to do the same thing. You don't see this used very often, it's more of a feature to help with migration from Transact SQL to PLSQL. We create a procedure. Notice there's no formal out parameter. We define a cursor variable of type sysref cursor. We open a cursor using the cursor variable. Rather than an explicit function return or a procedure out parameter, we use the return result procedure in the DBMS SQL package to implicitly return the ref cursor. When we execute the procedure, SQLCL and SQL Plus will display any implicit statement results. In this example, we accept two input parameters and use implicit statement results to return two ref cursors. When we execute the procedure, we see both result sets. We can use the DBMS SQL package to interact with implicit statement results from PLSQL. We use the open cursor function to get a new cursor handle. We pass the procedure call. Then we execute the statement. Now we can loop through retrieving every result set passed out using implicit statement results. We have a loop. We use the get next result procedure, passing in our cursor handle and ref cursor variable for the out parameter. If there are no more results, we exit the loop. If we do have a result, we fetch the values, close the cursor, and output the values. The output shows both result sets were handled. In the previous example, we returned two result sets of the same structure, but they don't have to be. They can have different structures and different numbers of rows. This example is similar to the previous one, but the first query returns the values from the empno and ename columns. The second query returns the value from all the table columns. When we execute the procedure, we see both result sets. So we've seen how ref cursors allow us to pass result sets as parameters. This can be explicitly as in the case of return values from functions and out parameters from procedures, 
or implicitly using implicit statement results. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.